Okay, good day people. This review is going to be on Christian Dior's Midnight Poison. It was created in 2007 and here are the list of notes. The top notes are bergamot and orange, while the middle note is rose, just one note, and the base note is patchouli and amber. Now this is a 1.7 ounce bottle right here and it also comes in a 3.4 ounce bottle and the price ranges from about 75 to 100 bucks and this is the EDP concentration you all can see the bottle and this is one of my favorite bottles out of the poison lineups a nice dark blue bottle here very nice and the cat it bears Christian Dior's, you can see it, yeah, it bears Christian Dior's initials, CD, so I think that's pretty nice. So yeah, on to the fragrance. Uh, Midnight Poison opens up with a nice bergamot orange rose opening. Um, the first initial blast is very seductive, very alluring, very sexy voluptuous really really good and I'm not a fan of rose scents but this is so well crafted that I can't help but love it very well done the rose begins to take over in about two hour mark and it becomes very well known although in the beginning um, it's there but it really makes itself known after a while on me for about two hours. It just really comes into play. Although there still is some citrus in the background that's blending in with the rose, creating a nice, unique fragrance. But the rose really sticks out. And after about four or five hours, I get a nice patchouli and amber starts to work. And the patchouli becomes a predominant player mixed in with the rose. And the rose really never goes away in this. This is um, could be classified as a classy fragrance, or it could be a fragrance that you can wear at night, going out night of the town, because it's such a dark, mystical fragrance. You know, the rose in this is not just any kind of rose. It's a dark, poisonous rose. A dark rose that you will find in a dark forest in a pale moonlight. It's one of those roses that you just can't get enough of. You know, once you try it, you're hooked. Hence the name Poison. But I'm telling you, this is really, really good stuff. It lasts all day or all night whenever I decide to use it. Like I said, I really like it at night. And it's sure to be a crowd pleaser. Uh, for those of you who know about it, <clears throat> you already know what it can do, the compliments you get from it. I also must say that out of all the Poison, this, this is the most male friendly poison out of all of them because a lot of women find this to be too masculine and to me Dior could have marketed this as the first poison poor home because it's just that masculine in fact it's not really feminine to me women can wear it but it's more masculine than feminine and guys I'm gonna tell you if you get a chance go check it out if you like it grab it Buy it for your wife. You get home, she doesn't like it. Keep it for yourself. Everybody wins. You know, so there's no loser with Midnight Poison. And uh, for you ladies who are thinking about getting something for your husbands or boyfriends or mothers thinking about getting something for your son or whatever, this is a great choice right here. Very good, very different. Um, I, I picture... Uh, someone in their mid to late 20s on up wearing this. It's not really a um, teenage frag at all. Definitely for the grown up, definitely for the mature, definitely for the sexy. It's just one of those frags. You can't go wrong with it. Um, much praise on this. I was actually thinking about making this my signature scent, but I have another fragrance in my wardrobe that's giving this some hell of a competition so I'm not sure yet but <clears throat> I'll come to a conclusion soon this is really good 
I'm going to get another bottle, a bigger bottle. I also have the lotion that comes along with this. Um, I got it as a free gift, a 1.7 ounce bottle, real small bottle of lotion, but yeah. I'm telling you guys, check this out. If you've ever been interested in trying any of the poisons, but you thought maybe they're too feminine, this is even better in my opinion than hypnotic poison, or I should say more male friendly than hypnotic poison, which, you know, is also known to be unisex, but this right here, this is a, a true keeper right here. Uh, can't get enough of this. Um, I always suggest it to people to at least try it and check it out because you won't be disappointed by this one. Um, that's going to be it basically for this one. Um, leave me your comments. Tell me what you think. Um, I love to hear your thoughts on Midnight Poison. Um, share your thoughts. Like I said, the last one I'm going to do on this poison lineup is Pure Poison Elixir. So that's going to be my next video. Check it out. Stay tuned and I'll check with you guys later. All right.